Hello YouTube, this is Aman Juman and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to configure Trilio SIP trunking with 3CX. So there's a couple of tutorials available already in online but uh, I faced some difficulty while configuring some outbound and inbound routes. So let's see how we can fix uh, from A to Z. So let's get started. So I believe uh, you guys already have your account uh, in in Twilio and I got one of my I got a trial account already so I just entered here uh, Twilio SIP trunking so now we're gonna create a SIP trunk in here create a SIP trunk let's give its name uh, Techies365 create So the trunk is created. Now you can modify these things if you want. So um, I suggest to uh, let it what it is. But uh, here you can enable this one because if you like to call transfer to another Christian pair. So um, the rest of the stuff I am gonna let it what it is. So save. Here we're gonna go to the termination. Now in termination panel, you have to give it a URL name. So in that URL, actually, it's gonna uh, identify what would be your C uh, endpoint is. So let's give it a name, the same name, so that it would be easier for me to configure it. So the in my SIP endpoint will be txt65.pstn.twilu.com and since it's available so let's go next in IP address uh, control list so in here you have to add your 3CX IP address so you have to find it or find it your IP address so for my case I configured it on uh, AWS so I can see my IP address from here so this one is my IP address I'm gonna add it IP address in here. So let's say AWS 3CX server. And now in network address, I'm gonna put my IP address. So since it's only one IP address, I'm gonna give it a 32 slash. So if you use, if you like to use multiple IP address, then maybe you should have to calculate your CIGR from any online calculator app. So that's it. So create SEL. Now credential list. So in credential list, I'm gonna add credential for that in here. So mm, let's give it a name. Take is 365 access, and uh, I'm gonna give a username and password in here. So I'm gonna let's say I'm gonna put put my details. Then uh, I will pause back, uh, resume my video. So I just entered my username and password in here. So you can just create your own. So I just added both of them. Now let it what it is, unless you don't like to change anything. So if you need to change anything, like how many calls per second you're gonna use for each trunk, then you can modify from here. So uh, since I'm using trial accounts, I'm gonna let it be what it is, save. ID is invalid so sometimes it shows some error so in such case I'm gonna just uh, refresh this pa page and I just put it again since I already added the credentials in here so I just have to select them and just save so this time it will work so update it now in origination section we're gonna configure our endpoints. So here, here we have to add our 3CX URL in this section. So uh, I'm using 3CX free version, so that's why they gave me their own assigned uh, URL endpoint. So this is 365.3cx.in. So I'm gonna just add it in here. So first, you have to add a add SIP colon then enter your 3C, uh, 3CX endpoint URL 
so if you use any custom full qualified domain name then you have to enter your full qualified domain name in here so that's it uh, I am gonna set what it is now press add so it's added so I'm not gonna enable this one so if you need what it is then you can just search Google so you'll get it the answer so no disaster recovery solution is needed because I'm gonna just test in here so save so it's saved already I guess so I'm gonna re reopen this section again yeah it's saved so we don't need to click on a save and again so in number section uh, if you uh, I believe you already have number so unless you have any number you're gonna have to buy a number so since I already have a number I'm gonna select add an, add an existing number so here is my number so I'm gonna select this one and add selected so we are done in this section so now uh, we're gonna go back to the se uh, this section and if you remember that in termination section uh, we added uh, this one so we're gonna copy the same this part so let's set it in here so let's copy it so this is our uh, actually endpoint we're gonna copy this so now let's go back to our 3CX and we're gonna configure our 3CX with the zip trunk. So here in our 3CX, we're gonna add, this is uh, 16, the latest version. Uh, right now is in September uh, 14. So, so I believe it's a version, what is the version? Yes, it's uh, 1606. Yes, so let's gonna add sim. Uh, sim uh, let's click in zip trunk and add a zip trunk in here. In country, we're gonna select worldwide, and here we're gonna select Trilo, and the main trunk number. So here we have to select our phone number. So make sure you copy a full number, then put it here. So the plus is required and press OK. Now in call DID, that's fine, caller ID, we're going to set this number and uh, the inbound adoption. So make sure this one is selected in top. In general section, we're going to copy our uh, Twilo endpoint address. So this one is ticket 65 pstn twilo.com. We're going to put the same proxy, same address in here. So uh, the number of sim call, uh, let's set 10. So type of authentication. So here you can put your IP, uh, username and password because uh, maybe it could be, I don't think it's required, but uh, let's gonna put our IP address and username and password. So it's like a backup solution, solution in case of IP address changes. Um, that's it I guess so I have already created an extension for myself which is 101 so I set my uh, set this number browse to my extension this uh, to my extension so that's it so we're gonna press ok so let's click on this and enable all so I think it's not showing when it is registered but I believe it's registered already so you should see supposed to see when it is registered so anyway uh, we have to uh, we, uh, we need to configure a couple of things because uh, that actually required so twilio doesn't support uh, require actually disable to e uh, what is called e6 e164 so i just disabled it so i think it should be right like this one so you have to uncheck this and press okay now let's go to the inbound rules so we're gonna add inbound rules add DIT so let's give it a name um, take keys g65 Trilo then so in DID this is the number you have we already configured an extension is me you can set it to anywhere else so that's it we're gonna save it 
So this is the easiest part. Now the toughest part is outbound rules because they have some certain rules. So I created four set of outbound rules in here. So first one is E164 for international format. So I just uh, added the prefix. You can just modify according to your need. So added the prefix plus and here in root, it's going to root to our Twilio. Strip digit zero and nothing to prepend and just OK. Now in for international call, so strip digit, uh, the starting prefix is 011 and it's going to strip three digit and append plus one and we're going to set it to Twilio again. Press OK. And for domestic international, uh, domestic US call, we're going to uh, call starting prefix one and uh, root to Twilio and uh, we're going to prepend plus one and strip digit is zero and press OK. And for you know, for some case plus one dial identity states, that case we're gonna uh, set number to zero to nine, and we're gonna strip digit zero and prepend plus one. So we're gonna route two to Elo again and press OK. So that's it, and uh, we're gonna now test. So we have we have our web client uh, configured. So we're gonna just refresh this page, and uh, I'm gonna give you a call. To one of my phone, one of my friend phone number. Let's see the, if if they have that ring. So let's go plus one. Uh, it's supposed to be. So let's give it a call. So it didn't connect. Let's check again, see trunk, enable all, refresh registration, then let's wait a couple of seconds. Since I'm using a trial account, so I have to do some modification in order to make a call. So in trial account, you cannot uh, use caller ID so the, unless you verified it. So first of all, you have to verify your caller ID first, then you have to also verify whom you are calling so such case you have to make sure that your messaging uh, is configured so that you can see the reply so then uh, you can actually click on your number then then you can go to the message log and an incoming message and okay so a few minutes ago I just verified myself so you can if you click on this tab you can see that um, see that the verification code so then you you have to enter the verification code in there like uh, you have to go in caller ID section So here you have to add your own phone number like this one. So this one is my phone number. So I added this one and entered the verification code from that that message section. Then uh, I have to add a verification for whom I'm calling because this is requirement for their trial account. So since I'm calling my friend account, so I added my friend phone number in here and uh, he sent me the OTP and then I entered it and it's verified. So now uh, we can go back to our 3CX and now uh, let's give it a call. So here uh, I'm gonna enter my friend's phone number. So let's call. So I got the phone call. So I'm gonna reject the call now I'm gonna call it again so we got the call from here so that's it so this is all about our today's video tutorial I hope you guys uh, liked today's video so if you guys have any question, uh, 
please uh, post your question in comment section. I'll try my best in it to answer uh, answer you guys' question because I'm relatively new in this uh, this section. So once again, uh, thanks for watching this video.